if a non-disjunction of chromosomes occurs in the first division of the zygote as it's forming the two-cell stage, then all of the cells of the embryo will have an abnormal number of chromosomes. Half will be missing Y chromosome material and be potentially female, while half will have an extra Y chromosome. If the same non-disjunction were to occur as an embryo passes from the two-cell stage to the four-cell stage, then half the cells of the embryo would have a normal set of chromosomes. They would be XY and male. One quarter would possess only X chromosome material and be potentially female, while one quarter of the cells would have an extra Y chromosome. If the non-disjunction were to occur later in embryonic development, then even a larger percentage of the embryo cells would have a normal complement of chromosomes. Thus, the effects of a non-disjunction will vary from case to case depending on when this non-disjunction occurs, and thus the resulting embryo is a mosaic. Not all of the cells are identical some would possess a normal karyotype, while others would possess an abnormal karyotype. Of the cells which possess an abnormal karyotype, a certain percentage would possess only X chromosome material and potentially determine female-like characteristics, while other chromosomes would be male but have an extra Y chromosome. And so thus, the effect on the phenotype of the individual would vary throughout the body. The individual would be a mosaic of normal and abnormal cells.